In this video, I will show you how to fix if the Wi-Fi option is not showing in Windows 11. This should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. So on your Windows 11 PC or laptop, if you are coming down to the bottom right hand corner, and you're clicking here but you're not seeing the Wi-Fi option, maybe the Wi-Fi option isn't showing, or maybe it is showing but it's not actually connecting to the internet. Whatever reason, there's a few steps you need to follow in order to fix this problem, so make sure to stay with me for the whole of this video and follow step by step to get yourself connected back to Wi-Fi. The first thing you're going to want to do from your desktop is come down to your search box in the taskbar at the bottom, in here type services, and then open up services underneath best match. Now, once your services window has opened, what you want to do is scroll down all the way to the bottom. So it's in alphabetical order. So you actually want to come down to W. Now, once you come down to W, there's two programs we're going to look for, two services. The first one is called WLAN Auto Config, which is this one here. Once you've located this one, what you want to do is double click on here and this is going to open the properties window. Now from here, what you want to do is come to the startup type, make sure this is set to automatic. If it is set to manual, just change it to automatic and make sure the service status is showing as running. Once you've done that, click apply and okay. Then what you can do is right click onto this and just go ahead and click onto restart to restart the service. Then what you want to do is search for something similar to this. So we're gonna come down a little bit further and you should see this service here called WWAN auto config. All you need to do is simply repeat this for this service. So again, double click to open up the properties, change the startup type from manual to automatic. And then what you want to do if the service starts to show and is stopped is click on start and then click apply and okay. And then of course, what you would do is right click and restart the service. Once you've done that, what you can do is close down the services window. Now, after doing this, what you want to do from your desktop is come back down to your search box in the taskbar at the bottom. This time type device manager and then open up device manager underneath best match. Now in here, you want to look for network adapters. So you can see we've got some different options. But what you want to do is find network adapters and then click the small arrow to the left of this option. In here, you should see your Wi-Fi wireless network adapter. Mine's called this one here. Yours might be called something different, but you'll know which one it is because it's going to say Wi-Fi and it's going to say something like wireless network adapter. Now, once you've located this, give it a click to highlight it, right click onto it. And what you want to do first is disable the device and just click onto yes on this pop-up window that comes up. And then what you wanna do is enable it by right clicking again and clicking onto enable device. So it's just gonna take a minute or two to re-enable your wireless network adapter. And once you've done that, again, what you wanna do is right click onto it and then click onto update driver, search automatically for drivers and make sure you do have the most up-to-date drivers for your Wi-Fi wireless network adapter. Once that's all been checked and done, what you can do is close down your device manager, come down to the bottom right hand corner and see if you can now successfully connect to your internet or Wi-Fi connection. If that didn't work for you, then the next thing you're gonna to want to do is is come down to your search box in the taskbar at the bottom. This time type settings and then open up settings underneath best match. Now once your settings window has opened up, come over to the menu on the left hand side and click onto network and internet. Then what you want to do is scroll down on this page until you get to advanced network settings. Click onto advanced network settings and in here you want to come down on this page and on here, if you come down to the more settings section, you should see an option for network reset. So give that a click. It's gonna take you to a screen like this and then click the reset now button. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Just click onto yes. And after doing that, make sure to restart your computer and then try again to see if you can now connect to Wi-Fi. The final thing you can try if you're still not able to see the Wi-Fi option or if it's not connecting is doing a power cycle on your laptop or PC and your internet router box. To do this, what you want to do is just go ahead and completely shut down your PC or laptop. Once the PC has been shut down, then what you want to do is disconnect the power cable. And once you've done that, hold down the power button on your laptop or PC without it being plugged in. Now you want to hold the power button down for around 30 seconds. What that's going to do is power cycle your laptop or PC. 
and you also want to repeat this process for your internet router box. So if you go to your internet router, again, disconnect the power cable from your router and hold down the power button for around 30 seconds. Once that's done, plug everything back in, start everything back up, and hopefully now that should fix the problem. You should see the Wi-Fi option come up and you should now be able to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi. So that's how to fix if the Wi-Fi option is not showing in Windows 11. Hopefully one of these methods and fixes did help you out today. Let me know in the comments which one did work, if it did work for you. And if this did help you out today, then I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.